Hi guys, welcome to another lecture on XHTML and CSS. Finally, in this lecture, we'll start introducing CSS or cascading style sheets. Now, why do we use CSS on our website? The goal of a CSS is to separate a web page style from its structure. So the structure would be created with XHTML and CSS will create the page style, such as colors, font size, effects, type of font, background colors, um, images, margin, borders, etc. So there's a lot of things you can do with CSS and style with CSS on your web page. And it's way better to organize everything with CSS. It will be very, very simple and easy to control. Okay, so let's start and open our Notepad++ and let's go to index.html and let's create down here let's delete the pictures and also let's delete this one here and this one here as well as a matter of fact let's delete everything we have in the body section so index.html now it's uh, clean and we don't have any content at all on our homepage index.html. Let's create an H1 homepage um, title and save this. Okay. And if you run this in Chrome, this is what you'll get. Okay homepage with black color and the size is defined by the h1 tag now we can always change this with simple CSS and there are three ways you can use CSS uh, let's start with the first one okay so I'm going to show you the same example in three different types of CSS you can use the first one is called internal CSS so to do that we need to come down here after the meta tags let's type a tag called style and let's create type attribute equals and here you have to type text dot CSS so this is the opening tag for uh, CSS and uh, the closing tag is only style Okay, now between these tags, we're going to create CSS, is where we can basically style anything on the body section or the web page. Make sure the style tags or the CSS tags are always between the head tags, okay? Now, the first thing we need to create is the selector. And in this case, we will use the selector as the H1 selector so let's type h1 and now we type curly braces the curly braces is where I'm going to define and create attributes and values to style uh, an element okay so let's create an attribute color and now we type colon and now let's type green and you have to end it always with semicolon okay so this is the selector and the selector has to be something related to a tag on the body section okay h1 and then inside the curly braces you need to type an attribute which is in this case color and we'll learn more attributes later on, okay? Don't worry. And then after the column, you type a value. The value is green, so the color green will be applied to this selector, okay, on the web page. So hopefully now we will get everything that is inside the tags H1 will be in green. So home page will be uh, presented in green in our website. Let me just check that. Let's open it and there it is. Okay, 
So this is how we can apply to every single tag or every single element of our website any attribute that we want. Let me just give you another attribute here, which is the type font or the font family. Font family. This symbol here. After the colon, we just type uh, Arial and semicolon. Okay. In order to better organize CSS code, we usually uh, put one property below another. Okay. Like this. You just open the curly brace and put here color green and down here let's put the font family let's put the closing curly brace down here and here you can put also let's say font size which is another attribute uh, or CSS attribute that you can use to style anything on your web page so font size let's give it a by default, H1 already gives a font size, but let's give a 30 pixel font size, okay? Usually we use pixels to give values of widths, heights, uh, margins, okay? So you'll get used to pixels, but I will talk more in depth about pixels and other measurements you can use on web pages later on, okay? Uh, let's just run this now in our Chrome and there it is we have Arial font family type of font and let's change this to 50 pixels let's see let's open this refresh and as you can see now we have 50 pixel large size fonts okay let me just give another example here let's say we have more h1's new title and see what happens let's run this launch it in Chrome and there it is everything that is inside an h1 tag will have these properties that we defined in here okay so what about if I type here h2 and run this let me refresh okay it doesn't apply why well because it is inside now an h2 tag and h2 is doesn't it does not have or it is not mentioned here if we want to include h2 as a selector to include all these properties and style h2 as well we just type comma and then h2 so now every single element inside h1s and h2 tags will have these properties let me just check that if it works okay and there it is perfect let's change this to for example instead of green let's type red there are several colors you can use the most simple ones are red yellow so the basic ones okay we'll learn how to implement colors and we'll talk more about colors later on as well red let's uh, run this in Chrome and there it is okay so this is how we use internal CSS okay so we create the CSS code in the same page or in the same code where we have the body section and the XHTML code okay what about if I want to apply the code or uh, style CSS code and properties to every single H1 tags that we have on the other pages. Well, to do that, we need to create an external style sheet or an external CSS file. Now, let's create an external CSS file. Let's just copy this code here. Let's copy this, create a new file, paste it here. Okay and let's save this as style.css okay let's take this out we will not need this internal CSS code now 
in order to apply every single attribute that we create on the style.css file to the elements on a page we need to link the file style.css to the page itself so here we must type after the meta tags inside the head tags we type link rel equals and here you have type style sheet and then type equals double quotes and type text CSS slash CSS space and now we type href equals to the name of the file okay so the name of the file to load and apply all the properties of CSS to this page and there it is perfect let's save this let's run it in Chrome and there it is okay everything is applied with an external style.css and let's say let me save this and or copy this and put this in the contact page or in the about page okay so how can I apply now to the about page uh, the same attributes of CSS and style the h1 and h2 tags it's very easy if you run this in Chrome the about page will not have any uh, styling okay but to style it we link the about page to the style.css file so what we can do is copy this go to the about.html and after title paste it here okay let's save this and let's run the about.html and there it is okay so everything is applied now so every time we have an h1 or h2 tag in about HTML or index HTML the style.css will apply them uh, to both of the pages we can still link also here or make the link here contact HTML and admin so we just need this line here and all pages and then we can apply and control all the styling through this only file .css, okay everything will be styled and applied to every single element that we want okay so let's say we have a paragraph and we do have paragraphs here okay we have a paragraph here and here and uh, that's it and also we have h1s here and here so if we open this now this is what you'll get okay so it's applying the code that it's inside style.css to the h1 tags here and let's change the paragraphs uh, styling to change it let's go to css let's type p which is the selector and then curly braces and let type here let's type um, font family Arial and font size let's give it a um, 14 pixel okay so every single paragraph now and every single page or the pages that have uh, the link to the style of CSS will have font size 14 pixels and font family Arial and let's uh, see these paragraphs now let's launch this in Chrome and okay you don't see it very well but it has changed it has changed the paragraphs let's just change this a little bit more in style and put here uh, 18 pixel size let's go back and refresh and there it is a lot bigger okay so this is how you can control in style everything you have on your website okay uh, there's also another way you can create uh, properties or CSS properties which is called the uh, inline CSS and you can do it by simply going here let's say we have here the paragraph style equals 
and double quotes. Now, inside style is where you're going to put uh, every single property you want of CSS that you wish to apply to this paragraph here. Okay, so let's give it a color, let's say blue. And remember, you have to type semicolon at the end and colon between the attribute and the value. Save this. Okay, so everything is in blue. Okay, so the priority between external or inline, it's the inline, okay? The inline will always uh, apply first. This is the priority, okay? So whatever you type in line as a CSS attribute uh, is the one that will be applied first. So if you take it out, it will return to the style.css. Let's check here. Okay. Let's also give it a font uh, size. Let's give it a 40 or no, 20 pixel and semicolon. Save this. Let's run it and see the difference. Okay, there it is. Much bigger. We can still do it bigger. Let's type here 30. Save it. Let's return and refresh. And there it is. Okay, so this is all for this lecture. And see you guys in the next lecture uh, where we will learn a lot more stuff on CSS. Okay, bye.